All right, so for this problem, what it's simply asking us is find the value of c that's going to complete the square. And when we mean complete the square, we mean create a perfect square trinomial. So to create the perfect square trinomial, what we want to do is take our b. Well, first of all, let's write this as a quadratic um, expression. So we have ax squared plus bx plus c. And what we're going to want to do to complete the square, to find our value of c that will make this a perfect square trinomial, is we just simply take b divided by 2 and square it. So in this case, my b is a negative 9 divided by 2, and I square it. Now, here's one of the bigger mistakes that students want to do. They always want to go reduce it down to a decimal. And I want to plead with you guys to keep them in fractional form. Because when we get to solving, it's very helpful to leave them in fractional form to solve. When you convert to decimals, a lot of things a lot of problems um, sometimes will occur and you'll get the answer wrong. So when squaring negative nine, 9 halves, that is the same thing as negative 9 squared over 2 squared, which equals 81 over 4. So therefore, the value of c that makes this a perfect square trinomial is 81 over 4. Now, why do we want a perfect square trinomial? We want a perfect square trinomial so we can write it as a perfect square. So we need to say, how can we write this as a perfect square? Well, what we do is we take our b divided by 2 and take that in. So we have x minus 9 divided by 2 squared. Now, if you were to multiply this out, x minus 9 divided by 2 squared is going to give you x squared minus 9x plus 81 over 4. No? Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, they're not asking us to solve it right now. Oh. It's just asking us to find the value of c that makes it. OK? No, I did my b divided by 2. I just took b divided by 2 and put it in there. But remember, what is this? Where, where do you, why do you get this? Why does that work? Because what if you were to write this out, Right? If you were to write this out, where does this come from? Well, pretend you're doing FOIL. Try to do a little FOIL in your head. What's negative 9 halves times negative 9 halves? Is it 81 over 4? Yeah, negative 9 times negative 1 is 81. 2 times 2 would be 4, right? Negative 9 halves plus negative 9 halves. Same denominator, add the numerator. And what you'll get is negative 18 halves. Negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. See how that works? So I don't, I'm not just picking this number randomly out of a hat or just grabbing it from here. This is, this is what makes, this is, this is like factoring this trinomial. It's always going to be your b divided by your 2. Because yeah. we use b divided by 2 to create the perfect square trinomial. So since we created it, we now know what it exists of. Okay? If there is no b, then b is 0. So you're going to have 0. Okay. All right. So that was number.